Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, we are going to be learning how to interpret scatter plots. We're going to take a look at them and see how they work. So the first thing is we're going to take a look at what does a scatter plot look like. So the first thing is that most scatter plots are in the first quadrant of the XY coordinate plane. And so we mostly only deal with positive numbers when it comes to scatter plots, but you can go into the negative as well. Um, but we're going to be dealing with the first quadrant here. And scatter plots have random points that represent different types of data. It could be anything. And so um, let's say a survey was done and all of this information was put in. We plotted all the points and this is what would happen. Okay. Now, um, if you look at the different points, there's, there's good points and bad points, but um, let's take a look at this one right here. This one I like to call a crosshair point because it looks like it's sitting on a crosshair. And, uh, and the reason I like the crosshair point, most people do, is because they have really easy point numbers, right? Eight and six, right? Eight, six is the point there. Um, so be thinking about that um, when you uh, are choosing different points. If we take a look at some, some point down here, um, you can see that it's kind of hard to tell where the X is. Is it? It's between 3 and 4 somewhere, but kind of closer towards the 4. We can't really tell exactly. So when it comes to, uh, to good points and bad points in scatter plots, um, just be thinking about the difference between a crosshair point and a non-crosshair point. All right. Now, sometimes scatter plots have trends. So let's take a look at this set of data right here, these points. And as you can see, it looks like it's kind of going up from left to right. There's some sort of pattern or trend that is going up to the right. And this is called a positive trend. It's when it's going upward from left to right. And we put a line in there just to kind of show you what direction it's going. Uh, we call those lines line of best fit, but we'll be talking about those in another video. Sometimes trends appear to be going downward. So you can see from left to right, it is going in the downward uh, trend. And so we call this a negative trend when it's going downward from left to right. Okay. And the last trend or non-trend is this. This is a scatter plot that seems to have no particular trend at all. This is just a random set of data and so this is technically called no trend. There's no visible pattern to them. Okay. And that is almost it. We're going to be making predictions sometimes when it comes to trends. So let's say we're given this particular set of data and we're asked predict what y will be when x is 8. So if x is 8, here's 8, let's look at the graph. And if we go up into the middle of the data right there, okay, let's put a line of best fit in there just to kind of see where the, where the trend is kind of going. So it's kind of hard to pinpoint an exact line. It's going to be somewhere in this general area. And so if you picked 9, 9.5, 10, it wouldn't be wrong per se. It would definitely be in the right area. Predictions are educated guesses, and so uh, that would be a good guess. Now, you wouldn't say something like 2, because 2 is way out of this trend. Okay, so that's how you find, um, you know, a missing prediction. And that's about it for interpreting a scatter plot. I think it's pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, the two keys are to be able to identify a trend, right? And being able to predict where one of the uh, points should be in that trend of data. All right. Well, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.